Have you at least seen her? Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Hello Fluffy Tails, I'm the Sir Squill and welcome back to Undertale! In the last episode we fought against a very uh, sick Flowey and finally got the first ending to this game. And now we see what we can find uh, differently, because I know there is a better ending than what we got. And we're going to find it, because we want it. We need that in our lives. Ring? Hey! Uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus! This was your idea! Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Click. Okay. So we have to get back to Snowden then. Can we take this elevator? The elevator is in use. Well, how do we get back to Snowden? Fast. And take Tralala, give a ride. Right in the boat. Yes, we would like to go to Snowden, please. Then we're off. Okay. Snowden it is. Tralala, if it's hot or cold, you can count on me. Good to know. It's always nice to have a little help along the way. Thank you. Come again sometime, tra la la. Alright, Snowden, we haven't been here for a long time. Oh, we're up here. Okay, um, this way? Yeah, because Papyrus was after the lab. There we go, here we are. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you... Hotline sucks! I don't want to have to go over there. So, here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you! Thanks so much. You're the best. Uh, hi, Papyrus. Undyne writes a lot of letters! But she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you. Because you have no standards. I really don't. He's right. God, why is Papyrus always right? Alright. Um, so we go back to the hotlands and give this letter to Alphys. Yes, please. Hotland. And yeah, we're off. And this time we run. Okay. Tra -la -la, you can never have too many hot dogs. Sadly, that's not true. True, because I can only have eight in total. Actually, father would have a cat in my back, but I don't. Don't know where she is. Come again sometime, tra la la bum 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 Lab. Oh, safe. Safe sounds good. Yes. Okay. I'm doing good so far. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Uh, yes, slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Dot dot dot. Oh, oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can I just slide it back out? N no, I can keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Uh, oh my god? D -d -d you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no! 
that's adorable. And I, I had no idea you uh, wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all that gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this. And so passionately too. Uh, you know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. <coughs> what? Dating start. Dot, dot, dot. Question mark. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. <gasps> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating's... Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Question mark. Um, I've got... to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of successful outcome to the date. Right? Anyway, uh, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... Some metal armor polish. What? Uh, maybe you can't use that. But I also brought you some waterproof cream for your scales. Uh, your uh, scales. I think she's secretly into undying. Uh, well, how about this magical spare repair kit that I... Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Perfect. So... Uh, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, me too. Hey, let's, uh, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? Uh, I've got it! Let's go to the garbage dump! That's not a great place. But okay... Here we are! This is where Antine and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey! She's really... Uh... Uh... Oh no! That's her over there! I can't let her see me on a date with you! Why? Because, uh, well... Uh, oh no, here she comes! Hey, there you are! I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it! Give it to me! Huh? Y you don't have it? Nyaaah! Have you at least seen her? Yes? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god! Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on like a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. <laughs> Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. And Dine's the person I um, really want to go on a date with. Uh, but I mean, she's way out of my league. And not that you aren't um, cool, but uh, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Well, tell her the truth. The truth? Uh, but if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are. They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. 
I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> uh, hmm. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay it. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful well, with you. You see, I, I. Oh, forget it, Undyne. I I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. And you always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. I'm dying. I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, I'm dying. Hold me. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... <laughs> hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Ah, uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but... I mean, actually, we are only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you that seaweed was... Oh god, she's mumbling again. I'm not gonna read that, that's too... Fast. Elphys. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elphys. And I and I, I really think you're neat, okay? Elphys. Wow. Alphys! I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've gotta realize... Most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power! So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Elphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just training you need to do that. Like getting uh, armor made of a garbage can. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken! It's time to chalk 100 laps hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm fine. I'll do my best. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics... Those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords! Magical princesses, here I come! Uh, uh, thanks for taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later! I don't know what just happened, but it was fun and my voice is nearly gone. But hey, that's what I do for you guys. Holy hell. Flavidels, I think we're going to end the episode here. I thought that we would have the final episode in this one, but no. I actually uh, have a little more stuff to do to get the uh, true pacifist ending, as you might have guessed that we're going for that. And we'll do that in the next episode. And until then, I hope you had fun watching this episode. Come back in the next one. And as always, I'll leave you with a hearty goodbye. Goodbye.